Previously on The Great Ace Attorney. I am gracefully descending and onto ship too. I am Angel after all. Uh, what? Oh, no, 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 no. We're not doing any more flying girl bullshit, all right? You get out of here. Get out of here, Nicomina. And then suddenly, Larry pops out of the closet. Dude, look what I just drew. It's fucking Nicomina descending like a beautiful angel. Motherfucker. <laughs> Damn it. Damn it. And now back to grunting it, people. Hey. Nico B, back with some more The Great Ace Attorney. When we last left off, we have continued this investigation, now through two to be continued, in the second case of the game in an investigation. I, I actually asked, it, it, have we ever had a to be continued investigation? Um, and you guys did point out, we actually did in a couple of times, uh, including the uh, Madame Guard case. That had a pretty long investigation as well. But uh, not very often, and definitely not in the second case of the game. Although to be fair, that last to be continued felt almost unnecessary because it was like it was like 20 minutes long at most. But today I am fucking finishing this investigation. All right, you guys said there's no more to be continues from here. Although I did hear some of you say it could still be like two episodes, but either way, I'm recording it from beginning to end. So I'm hoping, I'm really hoping I can just get it done today in a single episode because I'm gonna run out of freaking portraits to use as the thumbnails <laughs> for this freaking case at this rate. But yeah, so we investigate Nikomina's room. Uh, didn't find anything. Talked to Holmes. It, 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 it was funny. I think I, I I think the game expected me to talk to Holmes first before actually going in there. Because then it was only after I walked right back in there that I suddenly the ship starts uh, shaking. When it probably if I talked to him before and then gone in there and investigated, it would have happened when after I'd finished investigating the thing that I needed to. But good lord, at this rate, this is gonna take a while, right? This is gonna be a long ass LP. And I don't think anyone put it better than three slices senpai, who last episode said, Hey! This is Nico B, and welcome back to The Greatest Attorney. When we last left off, we were in the middle of the 37th DLC case. It has been 50 years since the start of this LP. I have grown a full beard. The One Piece has been found. The Council of Voices has entered its fifth generation of cinematic universe. Larry is dead. Bernie has passed away, but came back as Cyber Bernie. I'm living happily with my wife, Jackie, who I managed to bring into the real world due to current technology. <laughs> Let's get cracking this case where Naruhoto has been accused of murder of, for the hundredth time and the counters have breached infinity. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, your comic is such a good laugh. Uh, I was a little sad when I saw that Bernie had passed away. I was like, oh, but came back as Cyber Bernie. I'm like, oh! <laughs> That's right, Daddy. She's got a little laser eye and everything. She had little jet packs. Jeff feet. I am Diesel, not Daddy! Derek Bernie, you are always Diesel. That's true. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, thank you, Three Slices Senpai. Your hilarious comment is the reason why you are comment to the day. By the way, just a quick quick mention, because I just because I saw saw some of you guys point this out. And I, I just want to clarify when I said that like the thing I was like, oh, only Moshi Rige. That's the only Japanese name I've ever said correctly. <laughs> I saw some of you guys who were like, like, Nico, you're joking, right? You gotta be joking. Right? Yes, I was joking. Even one of my moderators came on and asked me if I was actually serious when I said that. No! God, guys, jeez. Apparently a lot of you have absolutely no faith in me. <laughs> I mean, I get it, right? I'm a knucklehead a lot of the times, okay? Clearly, I need to work on my sarcasm, but I am not that freaking dense. <laughs> I know I'm not saying it right. I know I've been saying it right for the past 30 billion years. And then I'll probably die saying it wrong, but that's all right, because that's just what I do. That's what I'm on this planet to do, is mispronounce every name and word in freaking existence. We all have our place in life, and that is mine. <laughs> But yes, it was a joke, guys. Also, some of you were like, Nico, we were in the middle of the ocean. Why did you think that it was the end of the investigation? I was thinking they would just skip to head, you know, even if the investigation ended. Then suddenly we just jumped forward in time and now we're in the, I'm guessing, the British courts, right? That's kind of what I thought it would happen. It wasn't totally out of left field. All right, anyway, let's go ahead and continue. I don't want to waste too much time on the intro here because, I, I, like I said, I want to try to get through this investigation. This episode, please, please, God, let me get it done today. I didn't fucking get. Like I said, it's not that it, it isn't interesting or anything. It, it's just it's taking up so many episodes, and uh, yeah, I'm uh, I want to get to the meat of it. You know, I, want, I still want to get to the the actual trial part, and not spend too many of the episodes on the investigations, which usually, you know, in my opinion, they're still the least exciting part of freaking Ace Attorney games. Uh, January 9th, that's Claire and you come in his cabin. The door had somehow been bolted shut during the ship's emergency maneuvers. Suzuto drew in a deep breath and worsely unbolted the latch. Oh. 
Hey, Nikamita, she lost her hat. Oh, wait. She's not wearing her disguise at all. Filthy rat, what are you doing in Nikamina's cabin? Uh oh. What? So they did know about it. Why did she put the beer back on when the other guy came in? I guess she didn't know it was him. It appears that both of you are unharmed. Yes, we are. What exactly just happened? Ursling from the speaking tube about ships colliding. Okay, so my initial uh, impression that she did tell the sailors who she was was right. So why even put the beard and stuff on? So, or maybe just only some of the sailors know? I, I will probably get an explanation here in a second. It appears to have been a misunderstanding. M misunderstanding? An emergency warning was indeed sounded throughout the entire ship. However, the ship merely made a temporary stop due to a low visibility caused by the sea fog. Uh, oh, okay. Alarm sounded. I was trying to think, could somebody have pulled the alarm and that caused the boat to churn? But that wouldn't really make sense, I don't think. It's like, I hear the alarm. I, there's something here. I, I better churn the boat some random direction. Ship is mess. Passengers going crazy. And captain is red with fury. At the moment, only the first class area remains calm. I see. You know, I was thinking, like, I'm like, why does Susta's face look so much more expressive than, like, other people's and other games? And I think it has to do with, like, like, you see where her eyes and her eyebrow, like, in between them, they're like little lines and signs, little shadings right there. And I think that's part of the reason. Like, that adds so much to her little facial expressions. So cute. If a false alarm rang out, then there had to have been someone who pushed the button. Eee! You, Doc, Shady Intruder. Yes? Well, she put put her all into that shriek. Wait, wait. The ship merely made a temporary stop due to a low visibility caused by the sea's fog. I'm a little confused because an emergency warning was indeed sounded, but they said then I said it's, it's a if a false alarm rang out. I wouldn't think that an alarm like an alarm would cause the ship to to stop. Oh wait, no 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 no. Yes it would. Yes it would. Because I examined that alarm earlier and I actually saw that and it said pull this that's right. Pull this in case of emergency, and it will actually cause the ship to, to stop moving. That's right. Okay, no, that, that is what this is. So that's how that door managed to get closed. And someone did actually do it intentionally. It wasn't just some twist of fate. That's right. That's when uh, uh, Suzuto was trying to stop me from doing it. She lost her hat. You open trunk with, without asking. It wasn't me, dang it. Uh, oh, no, it wasn't us. That's right. The trunk was already open when we came back in. Mr. Detective. Yes. Arrest this man. I I am knowing everything. This man is murder too, yes? Exactly. And stowaway too. Yeah. Yeah, I know how to sounds. Hurry. Arrest him for trespassing. Murder, stowaway, trespasser. No end to your trouble, is there? I really can't excuse myself from this one. Come on, who gives a crap? You know what? Once you, if you, once you murder someone, all the other shit that comes afterwards just kind of feels less important. Ship is solitary, sir. You go in isolation now. Ah, uh, come on. I've already spent so much time in isolation. We arrive in Hong Kong tomorrow. Then you arrive in police custody. Are we going to Hong Kong? Oh, is that where we're going to have the trial then? Wait, I thought we were... Oh. Maybe we're stopping in. Oh, we're stopping in Hong Kong before going to Great Britain. I think I thought that's where we were headed. Isolation. Santa Fusanaga, is there anything we can do? We are on a Russian ship. I have no authority as an officer of the law here. Well, I convinced the captain to be leading before. I fear that he will that will no longer be possible. And I could there's only so much beating I can take. No. I've gotta find a way to get out of this pitch. Ha! <laughs> He's pitching me! He quickly hit that. And, uh, oh, he went over there. Good, he's gonna let me... I'm gonna keep examining then. While you just... You do your thing. Bye! Bye! <laughs> uh... Nikamina. I'm not that bad, really. I'm very nice. Excuse me, Nikamina. Get down. Look, I'm sorry for entering your cabin without permission, but... I do not be coming back again. You see, we just wanted to investigate the murder case. Yeah. Looks like I won't be able to ask her anything. That doesn't matter. I need to find someone who can get me out of this. Uh. Can I actually... 
Hey, can this guy? Please, just give me a little more time. Do not be stupid. The only thing I will give you is a trip to the bit, the brig. So annoying. Don't talk so big just because you happen to be big. I could get big too if I wanted. But I'm not guilty of anything. I'm not a murderer. Then you are guilty of stowaway and trespassing. Well, um, people play many roles in life. <laughs> you see? <laughs> the answer might surprise you. Hey, it is time to go. Your sail is ready for you. Must be here somewhere. I need to find a savior. Someone who can rescue me from this terrible crisis. Okay, not you. I guess Osanaga? <gasps> oh, <bah! laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. I'm really liking Sherlock a lot. This shit's fucking hilarious. <laughs> He's just over there hanging on a fucking coat hanger. <laughs> I like how this is part of the this is the part of the gameplay here. Is this portion where I'm like, what can I do? There's nothing I can do. I thought I was gonna find Shrock in some random as fuck place. What are you doing, dude? All I all I had to do was turn my head slightly to the left. What? What are you doing over there? Mr. Shrock Holmes and your music Oh you got a tiara! Oh, you know, wanted to feel the weight of 20,000 rubles on my head. <laughs> I can't see shit through these things. For you see, a detective must be able to comprehend anything and everything. I swear there were no shenanigans afoot. Indeed, I would never steal from anyone. Um, putting that aside, why were you hanging from the clothes hook on the wall? Ah, that. I simply want to experience the profundity of being 20,000 rubles. <laughs> and to crush that cheeky hook. Poking its head out of the wall with a snap. Boom! Oh my! <laughs> the fuck are you talking about, dude? Dude, are we sure this Sherlock Holmes isn't also fucking on acid? Doing a whole bunch of drugs like the like every other Sherlock Holmes does. It's no use. I honestly can't figure out what in the world he's talking about. Uh, are you that self-proclaimed great detective? Ah, oh, hello, good detective. I've been looking for for all of you, actually. <laughs> we were standing right here. Why didn't you just come say something? I wish to report some information if you would be so kind as to allow it. Hmm. I must not be a great detective, as I have no desire to hang from that wall. <laughs> so what is it? What is this information? When it comes to a great detective's report, there can be only one subject to discuss. Namely, regarding the mystery of murder that occurred on the SS Claire last night. I have just completely solved it. Ladies and gentlemen, here is my report. Oh. What? What? What did you just say? Oh, looks like we're gonna do another one of his little things, I think. I brought this matter to its conclusion. There should be no other possibilities. I shall now elucidate the matter for you. Something only a great detective can do. A great detective's great deduction. Yep, here we go again. All right, hit me with it, baby. Ha! Solved. What nonsense is this? We are already knowing identity of culprit. It is the stowaway in handcuffs. No other possibility. This song right here, I I, I noticed when I went back to edit at one point. Uh, oh my god, this reminds me so much of the Dark Cloud 2 soundtrack. So, so that those strings right there, very, just very reminiscent of Dark Cloud 2. For anyone who knows what I'm talking about. It wasn't me! Yes, there are no other individuals who could have carried out the murder. Maybe it's this adorable little Russian girl. I don't know. After all, the cabin was locked from within within by the bolt in the latch. The culprit must have been inside the cabin. There is no other reasonable explanation. This is just the locked room murders that you see in detective novels, isn't it? She's is right. The locked room thing. Locked room? They're right. You know what? I'm... I'm also wondering, is there actually gonna be a trial for this one? Maybe the reason why this one's going on for so long is because maybe this doesn't have a trial. Maybe we solve it all on the ship before we get off. I suppose that's possible. Maybe we could just figure it out that way. And then it would actually make a lot of sense why there's, I mean, we're getting too many continues in the investigations. That's just unusual. Um, maybe that's why, but maybe that's just the new norm. I, I don't know. They're right. These doors can't possibly be unbolted from the other side, but, yeah, I'm sorry to disappoint you all, but that cabin was not a perfect locked room. Huh? There is, in fact, one other entrance to the crime scene. 
that entrance was the one used by the culprit when the crime was committed. What is the other entrance you speak of? Probably the vent, he's saying. Even now, it lies open before your very eyes. The air duct. The, the air duct, you say? Gah! You cannot be serious. You could not even fit an arm into a shaft as small as this one. Well, at least not your giant arm. <laughs> so you're saying the culprit entered the cabin through the tiny shaft. And who exactly would be capable of doing that? As it turns out, last night, the victim himself witnessed the culprit's appearance. Uh, I was going to say it's her, like, managing to fit through there because she's so tiny. Could you be referring to... The contents of the journal we found on uh, Cosmo's deck? Oh, oh, the speckled band, her tiara. One hour and 23 minutes after midnight, I heard it sound like a low whistle. One hour and 35 minutes after midnight, I saw a speckled band at the air duct. Precisely. What could that speckled band possibly be? The answer to that mystery is hiding somewhere in this very room. Mr. Holmes, wh what do you what do you mean? What do you mean? Oh, what the? What if it? I'm wondering what if if the the quote unquote speckled band is that guy's face, right? Like his burned face, possibly. Hey, well, how would he fit in there though? I, I, I don't know. Maybe not. I mean, and again, in the darkness, how would his face like light up? Like a speckled band would, I guess. You know, like I mean, like the tiara, you kind of see like the the light would refract off the the gems. It's gonna refract refract off his messed up face. But it is kind of a speckled. It's got bands on his face, and they're speckled, I guess. I don't know. Will we not? All will be well. There may be a bit of ruckus though. Feast your eyes as I unveil something truly mystifying yet intriguing. There. That's. Oh my god. Wow, okay. No, there's a fucking snake in here. <laughs> snake. Oh my god, of course. She had a snake in the back. <laughs> snake. <laughs> wow. Hey there, hey there, big guy. How you doing? I'm gonna get ya. I'm a snake. I'm gonna lick you good. Ah, uh, I don't know why that didn't occur to me. After all the talk about snakes, we even talked about it at the beginning, why the animal wouldn't be a snake. I guess I should imagine him, like, shaking the bag. <laughs> I mean, I guess he could do that. Couldn't you, Mr. Snake? Yes. Mmm. Ladies and gentlemen. So, okay, maybe it is going to be in the TR. If he's thinking it's going to be this thing, right? But that's going to throw us off. I think the actual speckled band might end up being in the TR. I, I don't know. Whatever. Uh, allow me to pl pl have the pleasure of introducing the true identity of the fearsome speckled band. Th that's... That's a snake, isn't it? That's right, a snake. Just so. Is he okay? <laughs> uh, I think he's strangling me. I can't breathe. Um, uh, Mr. Holmes, may I ask a question? Yes, please. By all means. I'm not sure if you've noticed, but I really don't think Speckle describes that snake. No matter how I look at it, it's more striped than anything else. So is that guy's face, I think about it. Hmm. Oh, uh, wait, maybe... Maybe the snake got on his face, and he got sunburned? Yeah, actually, you're right. Speckled is, speckled is dotted, not striped. But maybe this is where he got his uh, burns from. Is the snake wrapped around his face, and uh, then the sun uh, gave, uh, burned to the parts that were covered. Yes, that does seem more accurate. It's more of a striped band. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> Quite the clever observation, however. What if I were to tell you that... This very fact is part of the culprit's devious trap. What? You're saying it's a trap? It's a trap! What kind of trap would that be? Why is that guy not faced by this at all? Allow me to elucidate. The time has come to reveal my findings. Do you understand the possible implications of what I'm about to say, Miss Nicomina? The 
Japanese man died. Very sad, but that is all. I... I am knowing nothing. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. Just like last time, I have come to two conclusions. First of all, last night your friend slithered into the victim's cabin. No. Let me give me a sick your little expression. It's like, oh. It's okay, little buddy. We're all right. I'm hoping you aren't the murderer because you're so cute. You're such a so adorable. I mean, that doesn't mean anything in these series. Fuck it, look at Dolly, all right? Murder the shit out of people. Didn't give a fuck. And secondly, your friend took the victim's life. No. But he had no bite marks or any external injuries, right? And it said there wasn't poison. Nikamiya's turning pale. Well, paler than normal. It's like his two conclusions have hit the mark again. I think it's what she's afraid of, but it's not the it's not actually the the truth. So this young lady's friend was the one who took Asogi's life. <laughs> Six gum and a vice grip. He can't even speak. Good sailor, it's just that you remain absolutely still. If you want to enrage the snake and suffer a bite, it would not end well for you. Now, everyone, shall we begin? Come, one and all, to a Sherlock Holmes Theater of Logic and Reason. Here we go, guys! It's time! Hit me! Deduction start! The game is afoot! This music is fucking hype. The intruder. Here we go. Miss Nicomina, you've said this yourself. I am knowing nothing. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. I'm sorry. However, you are unable to lie to yourself. Indubitably, it's only natural to feel pain in your heart upon recalling the events. She was looking at her hand. The very same pain is the evidence of your relation to the victim's death. But who entered the scene that night, you ask? That would be the friend you carried on board the ship, wouldn't it? No surprise there, your line of sight shifted this time as well. <laughs> Naturally, your friend is that snake. It's not the snake? Is it this guy? <laughs> it's this guy! She squeezed him in her, in her little bag. However, if that were the case, one problem presents itself. It was a speckled band that was witnessed by the victim last night. Oh my god, Mr. Snake, calm down! He's like, die, uh, Holmes! Ah! Oh, he doesn't have any teeth, these, though, does he? I think he might have been defanged. Unless they're just not showing it in his little model. And yet. Unfortunately, no matter how you look at it, you cannot call the snake a speckled band. Oh, it's- oh, but it could be possible instead that the snake strangled Osogi, right? Like, snapped his vertebrae by what- like, what he's doing right now? So then, what did the victim see last night? Do, do not look! I am knowing nothing about this, too! Indubitably, the answer to that question is what you've just tried to hide. Thus, it is that snake skin, without a doubt. Or a, a sock. Indubitably, after all that incident, you, after that incident, your friend. Shedded skin, isn't that right? What are you talking about? <laughs> but it, what, if he shed his skin, it wouldn't change. I, I don't think it would change from, like, speckled to striped. Last night, the snake covered in speckles sneaked through that entrance over there. <laughs> Guided by the co that call bell, it slowly slithered down into the room. In the dim lit light, the victim saw it as a speckled band. Therefore, the identity of your friend who s sneaked onto the scene is... A most unusual snake, capable of changing his appearance by shedding. I wonder if such a snake exists within the realms of India. <laughs> Speckled snake! Snake! Alright, now. Topic two. Fatal injury. <laughs> Next, let's get into the core of the mat matter of this death. Now, and what how and why was the victim's life robbed from him? <laughs> 
From the information I have, the corpse did not show a single trace of external injury. Ah! <laughs> Indubitably, the truth behind the victim's death lies in this deadly poison. And so, if that is indeed the truth... It's possible that the crime scene still contains hints about the murder. You, you lie! Da -da -da -da. Indubitably, examining the corpse will let us prove the cause of death. There should be a small, near invisible trace of poisonous fang on the victim's body. The trace of your friend, the terrible venomous snake's bite. Yeah, but it's not. It's, it's, he thinks it's gonna be that we think maybe he strangled him. Wh what are you talking about? Mr. Kamina, it is pointless to feign ignorance. After the incident, you made sure to hide everything cor everything correct. Indubitably, your line of sight leads straight to the location of concealment. The evidence of this terrible murder is hidden within your truck. Yet again! No, it's the bottle again! <laughs> When we first entered this cabin, the trunk that moved. The murder weapon, a snake, happened to rattle about at that moment, correct? N no! By the way, the victim had heard a soft sound akin to a whistle before the, the incident. That's the signal you blew in order to manipulate your snake. M manipulate I think actually the snake might belong to this guy right here. You let your snake loose into that air duct and called it back after a set period of time. It was unknown to you if the bite landed, so you decided to investigate the room. If the victim was still alive, you planned to just send out the snake again. And this, I'd imagine, is just what the snake was trained to do. Y you are wrong! Guided by the call bell from the entrance, it took one little bite with its venomous fangs. That venom ran through the victim's body, snuffing out his life in ember for all eternity. Da, 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 da. That is precisely the true identity of the speckled band which robbed the victim's life. I can only hope that my deduction is incorrect. Case closed, guys! You go in the jail, Snake! <laughs> So I, I, that's not actually her pet. She reacted to that. Well, she maybe what was she looking at then? Was she looking at the bowl? She did have a bowl on the floor, so maybe it's 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 probably something else. But that's maybe gotten out of the room. And there you have it. The great deductions of Sherlock Holmes have been revealed. <laughs> this guy's not saying anything because his whole fucking face is covered. Mr. Kamina had been training the snake to be used as a weapon. Over there is a milk saucer. Customized milk was was the treat used to, to assist with the training. Does a snake drink milk? Snake, would you drink? I don't think snakes do that. Wow! This time, the mystery is solved for sure! We did it, guys! Good heavens, that was a brilliant, great deduction. This truly is the great detective, Sherlock Holmes! <laughs> oh, please. I'm just like all of you. I put my goggles on one eye hole at a time. But this is but the first step. It certainly helped to at least stave off my boredom, however. <laughs> Susan over there is like, ah, I don't know about that. Excuse me. A moment, please, Mr. Holmes? Yes, of course. Tell me what's on your mind. Tell me how amazing you think I am. Please, don't, don't hold back on any of the details. There's one thing I'm just a smidge curious about regarding that deduction. Ah, yes. Questions are certainly welcome. I'd be glad to answer them firmly and precisely. Thank you. Uh, first? Why? <laughs> Snakes are born from eggs. Therefore, they are classified as reptiles. I see. You know your stuff. Reptiles, do not drink milk. <laughs> uh, huh? <laughs> are you taking away my mojo right now? The only animals I would willingly drink milk are mammals. I do not think that one could train a snake with, with milk. Ah, yes. Then surely she trained it using a different treat. A snake treat. 
Look, it's just an example. The problem is not important to the investigation. Next snakes do not have ears. Huh? Therefore, I do not think it would be possible to manipulate the creature with a whistle. Yep. And I hear it also, they also sniff with their tongue, basically. Their tongue is basically their sniffer. That's why they keep sticking it out all the time. Like, ah. However, you know those stories. There's a talk of snakes that twirl and dance with the flutes in the land of Arabia. But the flute is played to match the movements of the snake, not the other way around. It's that so. No arms, legs, or ears. Just how simple of a creature are you, snake? <laughs> snake! I must understand you, snake! Tell me your answer, snake! That's actually interesting. I did not realize that, to be honest. I mean, I, I thought they had some form of way of hearing, but maybe they don't. I, I, I mean, I, I know you can't really see any ears on them, but I actually genuinely thought the, the snake charmer guys, when they played their flute, I thought that they were... The snakes were reacting to it. Is, is that not true? Is it actually... Just the um, like the snakes coming out and they're playing the the thing just to match his movement. Hmm. Please don't take out your frustration on the snake. So, may I move on to my next point? Th there's more. The snake uses the scales on his stomach to move. It would be impossible for it to descend using something as flat as this bell rope. B but why? Getting mad at me won't change how reality is. Anyway, even if you send a snake through the air duct, it cannot return by itself. Therefore... No matter how you look at it, it would be very difficult for a snake to commit this crime. Now, come on, look at him! He's just a little buddy! No, fuck that snake! Oh no, he's sad! Oh, sad. Oh, well, that was... It's like more lackluster than I realized. Now, we've identified the issues. It's time to do it again, Naruto. Oh, yeah. You mean it's time for me to dance? Uh, can we, can we go without that this time? No, I'm hearing you, Suzuto. You want me to do extra dancing. All right. I got it. By do it, do you mean? Yes, it's time to turn that deduction into a great deduction. I should have expected it would come to this. Ugh, I knew it. I put my dancing shoes away, but no longer. I understood. Let's, let's do it! That's just what I wanted to hear, Master Naruhodo. Uh, yeah. M Master, whoa. Take a look at your hands this time as well. My hands, my hands, sir? I'm free! Uh, again? The handcuffs are gone! When did... Don't even have keys. <laughs> and like before, there's no need to worry. You can have them back when we're finished. Trust me, I'm not very worried about it. Please, please keep them off. I peruse very easily. Now, everyone, shall we begin? Come, one and all, to Sherlock Holmes Theater of Logic and Reason. Let's do it again, baby. Now, my turn. Review start. Hold it, Mr. Holmes. <laughs> Mr. Kamina, you said this yourself. I am knowing nothing. Nothing at all. However, you are unable to lie to yourself. Indubitably, it's only natural to feel pain in your heart upon recalling the event. No! I can sense their question mark. Nikamina really does look like she's in a great deal of pain. Yes, indeed. She appears to feel truly guilty about Cosmo's death. But considering her obvious confusion at what Mr. Holmes was saying, there's most likely a different meaning to her facial expression. Well then, let's make sure we thoroughly inspect Nikamina! <laughs> Must inspect! Alright. It's her boo-boo hand! Claw mark! Ah, oh, she has a cat. Okay. I was just thinking, like, if it's milk, it's probably a cat. It's funny, we guess puppy is like, I thought it was gonna be something really weird. It's just, if it's just a cat, is it gonna be like a, a, a hairless cat or something? Make it extra weird? Gonna like Beerus? Boom. <laughs> Claw wound. <laughs> Break that fucking deduction, boom. Indubitably, it's only natural to feel pain in your claw wound upon recalling the events. No doubt, from the looks of it, the wound is still fresh. 
Nikamina. Could it be that your claw wound was inflicted last night? Ah! I am regretting that that man has died. I am, when I am regretting, this wound hurts. That very same page is the evidence of your relation to the victim's death. But who entered the scene that night, you ask? That would be the friend you carried on board the ship, wouldn't it? No surprise there, your line of sight shifted this time as well. Yep. Naturally, your friend is a snake. <laughs> I, I think this snake belongs to that guy. He's just not saying anything because it's covering his face and he's not getting him off. Regarding that claw wound, it must have been a wound caused by your friend, right? But snakes don't have claws, do they? Right. To begin with, they do not even have any hands for claws to grow from. If that's the case, just what could the true identity of her friend be? If we look towards where Nikamina and Kostya directed her case, I'm sure we'll find the answer. Da, 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 da. Oh, oh, there's a freaking picture there we can't see. Oh my gosh, you old little kitty! Woo! Oh no! Oh no, I hit the frame, but not the actual- Are you kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me? Wait, what? Wait. It's, like, come on. Is, is there a frame and then the picture in the frame? Is it being that ridiculous or do I have to, have to examine it first? This picture was in your with, was in your live sight, wasn't it? For now, let's set aside what exactly is being depicted within the frame. And because a frame that can show off any picture beautifully is a true friend. What kind of terribly vague reasoning was that supposed to be? Uh, oh, well, um, this is the theater of logic and reason after all. My theater of logic and reason. If you want to play a farce, do it in your own theater. <laughs> But you're playing a first too! Oh, sorry, I guess. Ah, I blew my, my own bar. Do I actually have to examine it? Uh. No. Okay, yeah, okay. Now we're, yeah, we have to examine it. Okay. I, I thought it, uh, all the other times I was able to just, just present it. I don't know why this time I have to examine it, I guess. It's a photograph. <laughs> That's kind of dumb in my opinion. That's really consistent, all right? Why are the other times I didn't have to do it? This one I had to, I had to examine it. I can see it, all right? I can see the fucking cat. But something Mika brought on board with her. I mean, it truly is quite beautiful. It is quite beautiful. Something true, but if you ask me, I'm more interested in this little black one over here. Let's take a closer look at this photograph. Kids, oh, okay, I, okay. Okay, no, now I see it. Okay, I actually had to, I had to click on it and now I can present the cat. Hi. There we go. Still, I don't know. I mean, the fact that there's a menu within the menu there. Naturally, your friend is that kid. Right, one look at that claw wound and it becomes painfully clear. Ah. A black kid. I don't know where it is right now, but you brought along as you saw an asylum, correct? Eek! Mr. Kitty! Mr. Kitty, where are you? Black is my friend. Cannot leave behind. So the, kid's name, so the kid's name is Blackie. However, if that was the case, then one problem presents itself. It was a speckled band that the victim was witnessed last, late last night. However... No matter how you look at it, this kitten looks nothing like a speckled band. <laughs> so then, what did the victim see last night? D do not look! I am knowing nothing about this, too! I do to believe the answer to that question is what you've just tried to hide. Thus, it is that snake skin, without a doubt! Wrong! Think of Mina. She, she took out what was in her pocket and hid it behind her back without thinking. If she had kept it in her pocket, she would have gotten away with it. Expect no, no less from Mr. From Holmes' forte. His bluffs! The bluff, yes! I'm gonna inherit that shit too. Pass it on to my dumb children. And they're gonna do it forever. Pull shit out your ass! That's how fucking Holmes did it! Should we detect his forte be his deductions? At any rate, it's difficult to believe that it would be cast off snakeskin. Then what on earth could it be? What is the Camina trying to hide? Da, 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 da. Uh, uh, she's holding something in her hand, though, right? Examine the snake skin. 
It certainly is both speckled and band-like, but... It's like something on the end of it. What exactly is this? It's soft and fluffy and made out of a long piece of cloth. Is it a cat toy? And there's a handle attached to the very end of it. This must be a Western cat teaser. A cat teaser? It is. It's a toy meant for cats to play with. Kittens are especially fond of them. If you wiggle in front of them, they're bound to jump for it. It sounds really adorable. Cat toy. Hi! It's not your side. Okay. Thus, it is that cat toy, without a doubt. Yes, in other words, that would be the true identity of the speckled band. Ah! You dangle that toy through the air duct, correct? And that cat murdered him! <laughs> he must have swung it fiercely. It's no surprise the victim caught sight of it. However, why would one do such a thing? That goes without saying. She hoped to use the toy, waving wildly to catch her kitten's attention. Then bewitched by that tra tantalizing toy, the kitten runs home and jumps into her arms. Ah. Oh. Indubitably, the identity of your friend that stole into the scene is none other than Mr. Kitty. That tricky kitten. Little Blackie. What a truly troublesome cat. If I ever catch sight of it, I'll catch it for you. I'll borrow that photograph of Blackie for a bit. Mine. The state yard is also shown. They, they emphasize that. That's something I'm going to have to point out later, right? Last night, I gave Blackie a meal. Then... Blackie scratched my hand. They ran to call bell. Before I could move, vanished into air duct. Blackie is bad kitty. <laughs> the bad kitty. The bad kitty. <laughs> It'd be so funny if it said bad kitty. Solved. Ugh. All right. Now for topic two. Clearly, you killed him with the, <laughs> the kitten. That'd be that'd be hilarious. Next is getting to the core of the matter. His death. The matter of his death. How and why was the victim's life robbed from him? Tell me! From the information I have, the corpse did not show a single trace of external injury. Ah! Indubitably, the truth behind the victim's death lies in this deadly poison. Wrong! Mr. Holmes must be right. It is true that Cosmo did not have any external wounds. Yes, but it, it looks like there's some information that Holmes isn't aware of. So he didn't die from poison. So it certainly appears to be the case. Or that certainly appears to be the case. Let's tell him about that information. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Now I can actually reveal it to him. Behold! Hi. Eat this, boom! Ah! Indubitably, the truth behind the victim's death lies in this postmortem. I just knew it had to be what the one or the other. <laughs> What is going on? I am confused. His neck. The only person who can live with a broken neck would be that sailor over there. <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure Mr. Stroganov is human too. Anyway, the victim had his neck broken. If that is indeed a fact. It is possible the crime scene still contains hints about the murder. You, you lie. Dutably, examining the corpse will let us prove the cause of death. Silky died from her broken neck. I suppose that means he would have been, been struck. That's certainly possible. However, as of yet, we still have not found any potential weapons. It's unlikely the trespasser, uh, trespassing kid struck him. Oh, is that little bell maybe the bell around the cat's neck? Like broke? Or perhaps Via toppled over and took an unlucky fall. If unfortunate enough, that could very well have broken his neck. He might be right. Toppled over, huh? However, this is Cosmo we're talking about. It's difficult to believe that he could have been so clumsy. He was fucked up last night. Regardless, we'll have to make the right change. Just where could the remaining trace of Vasoki's death be? <laughs> Boom! 
Boo! It's the dude who stains on the floor. Boo! Indubitably, examining the floor markings will less prove the cause of death. There really were traces left over. Traces of shoe polish on the floor. Shoe polish? I examined it with my homemade analysis machine that I carry around for fun. <laughs> Beeswax, tallow, and dye. The comp composition matches that of a shoe polish perfectly. Furthermore, the color of the shoe polish is the same as Asogi's leather boots. By looking at these traces, you can accurately guess what had happened. It's likely that something caused him to lose his footing and tumble over. Oh. No. He tripped over the cat. He must have then unfortunately suffered a severe impact to his neck as he fell to the floor. That's what he means. Oh, and the bells were on the cat's neck. He said the victim took that fatal injury to the cervical vertebrae. He took his last breath. No! I see. That's why she. That's why she thinks it was her fault here. She is clearly showing signs of guilt. I am knowing nothing, and nothing at all. Is that really true? <laughs> when the victim perished, a certain piece of evidence remained on the scene. Indeed. Now then, you must have desperately tried to hide that damning piece of evidence, didn't you? Indubitably, your line of sight leads straight to the location of concealment. The evidence of this terrible murder is hidden within your trunk, which is wide open. N no. Kazuma died because he tripped over and fell? Is that all? That must be a lie. I refuse to believe such a thing. There's no denying the trace on the floor shows exactly that. Well, yes, but... Plus, according to Mr. Holmes' theory, he could mean to try to hide any any evidence of the, the incident. It lies in this cabin directly in Nikomina's line of sight. So where did Nikomina hide it? Let's investigate this thoroughly. The answer must be here. I wonder if there's a possibility there's actually no killer at all. It really was just like a big accident. Uh, okay. Can I, I actually I could, might, might be able to look inside the trunk, but the tiara again? Okay. I can't examine the bottles. Can't examine the neck desk itself. Inside the waste... Is there? Oh, there is. It's the cabin's waste paper bin. Conveniently bored just last night, so I doubt there'd be much rub rubbish piled in there. Oh, yep, there's the other half of it. Wait, this is... Piece of glass? I can't quite put my finger on it. But I feel like I've seen this somewhere before. I fingered something like this before. Don't think it's just your imagination. All right. Boom. Boom. The evidence said you took the victim's life. It's him within your waste paper bin. Ah. I've seen this beautiful piece of glass somewhere before. It did bleed. Take this fragment that was found on the floor of Asogi's cabin and... Like so. It fits perfectly. Gah. Come now, Miss Nikomita. Would you kindly explain yourself? Why is it that a piece of the broken glass found at the scene of the crime is in your cabin's waste paper bin? Ah! Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure you're familiar with this glass bell. That is... Your trademark I am knowing nothing won't work here. If you're wondering why, there is decisive evidence that proves your connection to it. Huh? Is that right, Master Narahoda? Yes. This is the piece of evidence that links the Kimi to the glass bell. Da, da. It's Mr. Kitty got the bell. It's clearly depicted in this photograph. Hang for Blackie's neck. Da, 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 da. It's none other than the very same glass bell. Uh. Miss Nikomita, you, you can no longer run. The victim fell onto the cabin floor and lost his life in a terrible twist of fate. And that fate had fall. Had something to do with your friend, Blackie. Your friend, Mr. Kitty! Mr. Kitty tripped 
a silky over and murdered his punk ass. Nin, 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 nin. No matter what, I could not say this. Sorry. Case closed, baby. Tripped over kitten. Dead. That is a bad kitty. Elementary deduction complete. Oh, yeah. Gotcha! Nikabina, please. We need you to tell us. What exactly happened last night? It was last night, hour after midnight, when I gave Blackie a meal. He went mad and ran away from me. I've heard that cats become very nervous when placed in a new environment. Kitty disappeared into air duct, then... So, it was then that your hand was scratched? Yes. I know ship regulations cannot bring Kitty on ship. Animals carry, pa ca carry pathogens that can spread diseases. It's too frightening to allow. So I listened to Cabin Next Door. Was very quiet. Probably sleeping, I think. And so you tried to call back the kitten in the secret, didn't you? You tried waving... Tra you tried waving Blackie's cat toy through that air duct. It always brings Blackie back. But this time, I use toy. I whistle. But Blackie does not return. So the whistle Sogi heard was meant to call back the kitten. I hear that kitties, kitty cats will hide under cover and refuse to come out if they're afraid. Had no choice but to wait for kitty to calm down. Then... Ah, oh, oh, murder the shit out of a Sogi! I thought hot stopped. Suddenly, I heard loud noise, then a huge sound, and then heard nothing else. Yes, Sogi. Yes, Sogi. Okay, so she didn't actually see it, though. She just heard it and assumed, right? Judging from the marks left on the floor of the crime scene, the victim most likely stepped on the glass bell when he lost his footing. Although the Al Alclair may be a colossal ship, it can swing around with incredible force. It could be that as he was falling, a nervous kitten had wrapped itself around his feet. As this continuous unfortunate incidents piled up, he could do little to prevent Venter's fall. In any case, what happened with the kitten afterwards? Later, he responded to my calls and returned from the air duct. However, little Blackie is nowhere to be seen right now. Forgot to lock the trunk. Kitty wander off again. Murder, Kitty. Good grief. That cat's... Kitty cat's as restless as I am. I need more crack. So he's aware that he's restless. <laughs> Morning came. I hear that man next door is dead. But I could not see this. Aw, oh, she's so sad. If people know truth about me, I have to go back. And that scares me. Oh, if that's all true then, what about the snake? Oh, th that's right. If that isn't Nikamiya's friend, then why? Uh, yep, it's his. Why is there such an extremely dangerous animal aboard this ship? Oh, forgot to mention the snake. His friend, you see, name is Pero Peroshko. What? 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 Ah, yep, yeah, it was his. You're saying that's that's your snake? It escaped from cage during a long ruckus earlier. I was looking for it, but it was here all along. Ha! Just how did it escape in the first place? However, is it forbidden to carry animals aboard this ship? <laughs> We are sailing together for over a year now, yes. Such good friends cannot be teared apart. I wonder if he has any other friends. Real friends, anyway. <laughs> Look here, Mr. Sailor. 
It's a big venomous snake of all things. Who would like that sort of thing? It is not ven venomous. What? Siperos got here. It's long but harmless to man or animal. What an adorable friend. Harmless? It's just grumpy from hunger right now. Give food to bring back cuteness. Um, my food? Do you mean things like milk and such? Ta! Such a snake exists only in fairy tales. Brosco love mice. Round fat mice. So, correct me if I'm wrong, but that mouse trap along the cabin corridor is? Yes. It is trapped to catch Brosco's favorite food. Wow. That circle of life is pretty harsh. <laughs> I appear to have lost my eyes. It doesn't drink milk, hear whistles, climb cold bells, or even inject venom. Indeed, who could say? The fellow doesn't have a leg to stand on! Oh my god, he fell the fuck over! Who the hell cares? Do not yell at me again! I always stick my snake on you! Anyway, Prosco has nothing to do with incident. So this... This is the truth behind Asogi's death. Or is it? I mean, it's still the, the ink on the floor, right? We didn't see it. No, it's not the is, isn't it? There's more to be, more to be uncovered. Aw. Think I'm Mina Borshevich? I understand that the position you have been put in is rough, and I sympathize with you. However, that said... You go to jail! Should you take a man's life and lie in hopes of escaping your final punishment, you will be purely despicable, no matter how dire your circumstances may be! Huh? What are you trying to say? Hasn't all of the mystery just been clearly unraveled before us? Everything was, him was hinged on an unfortunate off-chance accident. Oh. Damn, Susan is on some shit, huh? She's sharp as hell. I'm not able to see things as well as Mr. Holmes can. <laughs> I don't know about that, actually. But, I know for a fact, this cannot be the truth. What do you think, Nara Hodel? Honestly, I had the same feeling. I knew it. There's something out of place in Nikomina's words. Let me be honest. I thought to leave everything af after this to, Scot to, to Scotland Yard. What? There's only one reason I, why I'm investigating this incident. It is simply because I couldn't bear to look at you, Master Noah Hoda. Huh? You, you mean me? Those cuffs biting your hands simply bother me to no end. Why don't you put it back on? Uh, again? When did he do that? I felt almost as if I placed those handcuffs on you myself, you see. <laughs> you just did it, like. In any case, I thought to do something about it before the ship docks in Hong Kong. M Mr. Holmes. However, ever, there is one thing that slipped my mind. The departed victim was a very dear friend to both of you. That's the truth, isn't it? Yes. Asoki was my best friend. He was the man who saved me. Then? The truth that lies beyond this point should be sought out by your very own eyes. My own eyes? That odd feeling I got from Nikamina's words. Perhaps if I pursue it, I might be able to find the truth. <gasps> I'm using Asogi powers! The true story behind your di your death will finally come to light! I'm starting to think we aren't actually going to have a trial. This is just going to be something we solve here. Which I would actually be totally down for. I understand. I'll give it a shot. That's the spirit. Naruhodo! Now, shall we begin, Master Naruhodo? Yes, sir. Well, hello there, Bernie. Hi. Is that a...
A sleek little hoodie you got on? Yes. <laughs> you like it? No. <laughs> Actually, I think she does like it. She likes it. It's, it's relatively cozy. But it make me look funny, Daddy. No, you look cute, Bernie. No, it's silly. It's silly, Daddy. You don't put clothes in doggies. <laughs> You're supposed to be running around naked. I know. <laughs> oh, it's cute. So this is this brand called uh, Ai Chowy Chow. It's actually a, it's actually a brand that makes uh, clothes specifically for Frenchies. <laughs> so I got her a little red hoodie. I actually, initially gotten her a gray one, um, but it was a little small. It was a little tight around her chest area. So I got one more size bigger, and it's it's definitely better. Although the, now the now the the back side's a little longer, uh, probably a bit too long. So. But uh, the rest of it fits her better, at least. I actually think she she actually does like it, though. She's you tells me it keeps her nice and cozy when it starts getting chilly. Although it's it's starting to warm, it's gonna start warming up here in the next few days, so she's probably wearing it too much more this uh, this season. But we'll have it for next season, right, Bernie? That's right. <laughs> but she still she looks so cute in it. I, what I love too is that first off, it's got a hoodie, so which goes over her head. And now that, she's not crazy about it. It's not crazy about having that hoodie on, <laughs> go over her head like that. It's because I ain't got no holes on it to let my ears out, Daddy. Ah. <laughs> but also on the back, they've got little pockets. See right here? <laughs> That's good, yes, so we can store your little bones and stuff. No! No! <laughs> I wish to be free, Daddy. I know, sweetheart. I know. Ah, I got you. It's cute. It's so cute, though. I like, I like that they they're basically designed to fit potato shaped dogs like her. So pugs also work pretty well with, with the style. But yeah, I like I like the red color. Yeah, and I'm just gonna get you some shades, sweetheart, and you'll be you'll be the coolest cat in town. You'll be the coolest dog in town, Daddy. Get it right. That's right. That feeling when my dog is a hundred times cooler than I'll ever be. Damn right, Daddy. <laughs> know your place. Woo! <laughs>